Hi everyone, welcome to Canva. In this video, we will talk about organizing your uploads, your images, and your designs by using Canva folders. So let me show you how you can do it. You, there are a lot of options on how you can get organized. So let's get started with this one. So while you're on your homepage, all you have to do is just go right here and click on your folders. Okay, so here is where you can create a new folder. Okay, so for this recording, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it sample one. Okay, and then you can actually share this with your team members as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and create that folder. Okay, so sample one folder right now um, doesn't have any, con any image or design yet, but you can go ahead and click upload right here and then upload an image that you wanted to put in that folder. You can rename it here and delete it right here. You can also create a subfolder. Let's say, for example, um, sample one has four projects. So you wanted to create a subfolder here. Let's say project one. Okay, so there goes your subfolder for, for this um folder here so let me just go back to the main folder okay so so you can see I have a lot of folders here for different clients yes the folders help you save your time because you're able to find the images right away if you're working for a specific client then you're able to find the images for that client right away so let's now let's go to your design so here are all of my designs. Let's say, for example, I wanted this design to put in on a specific folder. So I'll have to just, just click on this three little dots right here. <clears throat> okay, I think that's already been deleted. <laughs> it just didn't refresh. So, okay, I'm going to use this one instead. Okay, so just click the three dots right there. And then go ahead and click Move to Folder. And then choose an existing folder where you wanted to put that in. So I'm going to put that to sample one. And then we got a subfolder right here. So, but I don't want to use a subfolder. So I'm just going to move it there anyway. Or you could also create a new subfolder and name it project two and move it right under project two. So I'm just going to move it there. All right, there you go. Then <clears throat> you can go back to the main folder again. Then here, right on your uploads. Okay, so I've got a lot of uploads that I was not able to put on a folder, a specific folder. So this time I'm going to put this into my folder. So I'm going to move this to folder to my own folder. It's my name. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm going to put it right there to my branded photos and move there. So that's already been moved. Now the other way is to go back to your homepage and pull up a document. So I'm going to pull a document here. Okay, let's just say for example, you're already working with a project and you wanted to use a new image. So I'm going to upload a new one. Let's just say I'm going to upload this image right here of my client. Okay, so after that's uploaded, I wanted to make sure that this goes to the right folder. So once it is successfully uploaded, all you have to do is just click that three little dots right here and then move it to folder. And then from here, you can again create a new folder if it's a new, um, if it's a new folder or just choose any existing folder where you wanted to put that. All right. And then you can also go right here on your folders. Let's say, for example, you're working on a project and you are working, let's say for example, this time I'm working on my client named Veronica. So I'm going to go to her folder. I'm going to grab real quick 
an image from her. So I'm going to her folder. Okay, so there's Veronica. And there's some photos. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this photo here. And then use another element that I have on that I have uploaded under her folder. So and there you go. Then All right, that was time time save. That was a time saver, right? Because you don't have to scroll through your uploads. Because when you scroll through your uploads, there's a lot of them, and y you'll just end up scrolling down, wasting time looking for that specific image or element that you've uploaded for that person. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. Let us know if you have questions. Thanks again.